Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for a daily dose of Dismal Disney. Well, it depends who you ask, I guess. I think this is dismal. I think this is Disney going back to a well that nobody wanted to go back to. Yeah, I did a story on this on piratesandprincesses.net today because I saw this when I was searching for stories and I was like, why? And then I thought, okay, okay, it's Lego. And I mean, we used to play the Lego Star Wars games and the Lego Star Wars shows are usually pretty funny. So I'm like, okay, okay, it's Lego. Maybe it won't be that bad. Just, just hold on, we'll get it. We're getting to it. <laughs> so go ahead. All right. So Disney Plus is this is this the premium content that people are paying for. Disney Plus is going to release a Lego Star Wars holiday special this November that ties in or retcons or makes fun of or whatever the original Star Wars holiday special from 1978. We're scraping the bottom of the freaking pickle barrel well, at this point. Well, what's, what what's everybody talk about? What what gets people going? The holiday special. So now Disney is like, oh, we're going to put our own pers personal rinse on that too. I mean, not that the holiday special was amazing TV. No, I mean, but, it's, but... It's beloved because it's so lame. It, yeah, well, this this is going to be... This is going to be lame. This is going to be beyond parody, I think. I think they're even using uh, the Life Day thing. Yes, they are, because, you know, Chewie's the only one that lived. So uh, before we get into that, guys, you have less than one day left on the Clownfish TV official enamel pin, uh, the official collector pin. When they're gone, they are gone. So check it out at shopclownfish.com. And yeah, let's let's talk about this, because this is uh, not something I expected Disney to do. But then again, the Mandalorian was basically, you know, cherry picking from the holiday special anyway. So yeah. why not? Why not? Yeah. So, yeah, here's what's going on. So Disney Plus is doing the special with Lego, which normally, like I said, Lego stuff's pretty funny. So I'm like, OK, yeah. Lego, OK, um, except um, they're going to be focusing on the beloved characters like Ray, Finn, Poe Dameron to get ready to celebrate Life Day. And they're gonna be doing it, they said it's gonna be like the, the disco-y, kitschy way they did the original uh, the homage oh, to God. Special's Disco Air predecessor. Do we get Lego B. Arthur? That's all I care about. I, I, I don't think so. But, um, <laughs> so Josh Ryan's is a show producer, and he said he wanted to give a wink and a nod to the original. You've given us a lot of wink and nods, and I don't mean in a good way. Um, it's a celebration of the saga. A lot of characters will be interacting with different characters and perhaps even different versions of themselves at different ages. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. Time travel? I don't oh, God. Are they oh, my God. You know what they're going to do? They're they're gonna use the loophole in Rebels that the veil of the force or whatever, because everybody's been talking about like they could just retcon Star Wars using time travel. They'll throw it into this just to poke and they'll poke fun at the fans. Uh, you well, watch, I, they're gonna insult the fans. Well, wait, it gets, uh, but wait, there's more. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna quote. Here's what here's what it said. This actually came from. Um, uh, USA Today. I said, the Lego Holiday Special, which rhymes, teases, will feature a few Star Wars movie actors reprising their roles. Catches up with the cast after the events of last year's saga closing Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Correction. Correction. Franchise killing. Yes. Are you right? Franchise you killing. Ray and droid pal BB-8 head off on a quest to gain a deeper knowledge of the Force. But their visit to a mysterious Jedi temple sends them careening through the time and space. Right there oh it is. my god, time travel. And there it is. And Ray interacts with Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Yoda, and other characters in some of the franchise's most beloved moments. So they're going to insert Ray. Okay, wait, wait. They're going to insert Ray into all the beloved moments of classic stars. Right now, Neon put his glasses down and he's rubbing his eyes like, oh my God, I can't believe this. She has become Clara from Doctor Who. Yes. Um, I don't like Clara. Uh, <laughs> so they said it's going to be the most beloved moments of the return in time for the Life Day Feast with her friends on Kashyyyk. Um, that of course I said I wish I just let go of this already. Uh, but they said this is according to Rhymes, but the heart and soul of the special. Oh, just hold on to your seats, guys. It gets better. Is Ray's relationship with Luke, not the old Jedi Master she knew, but instead the rookie rebel version of George Lucas's original 1977 Star Wars movie. Yeah, because they're not the same character. No, it becomes a much different take on a teacher and apprentice with the more seasoned Ray and a younger Luke. Oh my God. Dad, what the fudge? She's gonna, she's gonna school Luke Skywalker. She's gonna let you. Now, I, I get this is just a Lego thing, but we've seen what they do to Luke in other 
media and, uh, an, you know, animated shorts and stuff. She's going to lecture Luke Skywalker. Well, first of all, they're trying to get, they're trying to go back. And I mentioned this, bring back the fan of the past. Just everything you know, if you have to, they're trying so desperately to bring the fans back. But what they're doing is, um, they're going to try to go after Luke, not the crappy Luke we got in Last Jedi, but the Luke, the Skywalker's fans know and love. However, Ray is going to come back and she's the master now. And they, they literally are doing this. I mean, what they have learned nothing. I, I can't even, I can't even with this. Like, you guys want the fans back? This is not the way to do it! Uh, I, I... They're mad they ruined Luke. Let's go back and bring the Luke back they all loved. But we're gonna make Ray be the master. I can't. I, I'm just like, guys, I mean, I, again, I get this is just a Lego thing. This is just a parody. They they poke fun at uh, Star Wars all the time. But well, I'm sure I, it'd be funny. But I think the... I think there's going to be an undercurrent of maliciousness. I'm just going to guess just based on previous experience with Disney owned Lucasfilm. I think there's going to be an undercurrent of maliciousness that they're going to make Luke look like a doofus. Ray's going to have to fix everything. And uh, are they going to do or is that? Why the Star Wars is the way it was. It's because actually Ray was there and, and is the one who, go, who set Luke on the right path. And is why Luke is, you know, the way Luke was. He's a hero because Ray came there to show him how to be one. Oh if they do God. that, I I am officially done. I, I'm done already. No, what, I mean what? I won't even. I mean, I mean, I I won't even. I won't refuse to watch. I mean, I, anything uh, you know, uh, any new movies come out ever. Uh, I won't. I refuse. I still haven't seen the Rise of Skywalker. No, we still haven't watched. We that we one. get so close to like thinking about watching it, like it, it's there, and we're like, well, it's on Disney Plus. We don't have to pay extra for it. Maybe, maybe that's like, no, that's like three hours of our lives. We're yeah. not going to get back. We'll think, oh, maybe we'll watch it. And then you start thinking about it and you're like, I just don't want to sit through it. I just don't want to. Why would I? Why would I do that to myself? And that's literally what we, what we sit and think. And then I'm reading this and I'm like, and, and I got to admit, I have to rewrite some of this article because I read it. I didn't see the part where she was going back to be the master. I read through it. And I skimmed it. But I didn't read that part. It's something I yell at Neon for doing all the time. And I um, was trying to get the article up. And I just, I read through it, but I didn't catch that last line. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. I was like, okay, they're going to give us, they're trying to save the franchise by bringing the Luke everybody loved back. And I was like, oh, they're trying to go back and, and bring Luke back. No. And retcon the last Jedi is what they're no. trying to do. Until I saw that line. And now I'm like, now I got to go fix the article. Because now I'm really, really mad. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so mad. That is not what they're going to do. They're going to use Ray to lecture Luke. Uh, Ray is going to lecture Luke. They will not let this go. They're not. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they have to go back and even in and, uh, you know, take a piss on the holiday special. Now, granted, you know, it's it's lame and George Lucas would rather pretend it doesn't exist. But like, we can't even let that alone. Well, do you know they had to get Rose Tico in there, too? They're going to give her a big role. You know what? They're, they're going to take this opportunity to stick it to the fans. They're going to be like, it's going to be all Rose Tico. She's going to have her own her own adventures to make up for the fact that she wasn't in Rise of Skywalker very much. Um, they're going to make sure that Ray lectures Luke. He knows his place. Well, they're and, saying they're taking inspiration from It's a Wonderful Life and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and some other holiday movie. I can't remember the life of what it was, nor do I care. Home Alone, because Disney owns that. Um, Probably. And they're oh going to take inspiration God. from those in this one. And I'm like, what, it's, gonna be, it's a wonderful life with, with Ray goes back in time and shows Luke what the world would be like without him. Is that what they're going to do? And I, then she realizes, because this is Disney Star Wars, like, look, it, it, it would be a better place without Luke Skywalker because he's just an old grump and he didn't do anything. I'm like, you, you have a huge, you have a huge, huge problem right now with the franchise. They're all admitting it at this point. Even the media who's been kissing your ass all this time is turning on you. And your answer to it is to go back and have, we get to see the Luke that everybody loved, but with Rey as the master going back to talk to him. I'm like, you really, really, really wanted to do that. That that made a lot of sense to you. I mean, we're just guessing. We're just spitballing. They just said I, that. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's, they're going to do go it. Go back a, to the quote. Yes, they said I know, it. I know, well, I know, I know, I know. They said it. They said you know, a different take on Teacher and Apprentice. A more seasoned Ray and a younger Luke. Yeah, so... It, oh, my God. And I get it's just a like because people are going to be like, oh, my God, it's not can. It's just a Lego thing. I'm like, but just given the track record with with Disney-owned Lucasfilm and given... given, I mean, it shows how much um, their trust has been eroded because fans are immediately going to assume the worst. 
Well, I was like, oh, I'm like, oh, they're, they're, it's good. They're going to undo the last Jedi, but going back and having Luke when everybody liked him. And no, 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 they can't even have that because Ray is there too. You yeah. have to like Ray because they're not going to let it go until you like Ray. Yeah. So I, I'm sure this is going to be trash. Um, even God hates Disney Star Wars. Yeah, the other day, <laughs> <laughs> there was a really bad lightning storm uh, a couple days ago, and uh, lightning hit one of the spires over behind the Millennium Falcon at Galaxy's Edge. I mean, we're not talking like a little bolt. It was like a big, big explosion. Um, it hits really hard. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't some damage done there. Boom. I do know that uh, Rise of the Resistance and Muppet's, Muppet Vision were down for a couple, like a day or so to the, you know, and they said it was because yeah. of the lightning strike. So they actually took out the ride for a little while. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't want to watch this. But this one sucks so bad at that you get one day, you have to fight for those Hollywood studio passes for your park pass day. You get your park pass day, you're like, I'm finally going to get to see Rise of the Resistance. I finally got through and you get there and it's shut down. It's shut down. Like be most days. Because, because, uh, uh, Palpatine. Palpatine. That's everyone was joking. The biggest joke was it was all Palpatine. The comments were hilarious, actually. Oh God, I, I don't know. That's. I mean, it's not. I'm glad nobody was hurt. Several people said in the comments, even God hates Disney Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, not a unique joke. Um, <laughs> I know it was funny, I but was like, That's uh, beautiful. yeah, I just. I mean, it's. Uh, I. I don't see any hope. I don't see any hope of of Disney Star Wars turning it around until they always keep saying about how there's always hope in star wars there's no hope there's not now i uh, mean even by the time you think maybe they'll learn their lesson they they drop this kind of crap on you and i'm telling you the mandalorian season two they're gonna ruin it they're, uh, probably they're gonna ruin it they're gonna bring a whole bunch of new characters in that nobody asked for because it was uh, an unexpected hit so they're gonna start bringing all these characters in they're gonna start uh, pushing agendas yep they're gonna they're gonna just milk the hell out of baby yoda he's gonna be the urkel of well, the show it, what's interesting to me is our walmart has baby yoda stuff and they have the little baby yoda mattel toy and they also have the little the figures um no one's buying them at ours i mean people are buying them but our walmart still has the exact same number they've had in the whole time and they put a whole display out for the little baby yoda hasbro figures not one has been moved and it's been days I, I think it's a year too late. Um, I mean, this is this is like I mean, you want to talk about like massive marketing blunders. I, OK, one, they, you know, they didn't have any Rise of Skywalker merchandise, really, because Hasbro knew they weren't going to sell it. But then the Mandalorian comes out and they have virtually no merchandise for it because they were so burnt mm -hmm. on Rise of Skywalker. So they get the Baby Yoda stuff out. They bring out way too much of it way too much of it. It sold at first, but now the show's in the rearview mirror. You know, it's it's almost a year since it came out, and a lot of people are well, like, "Well, it's coming back out in October, so I'm sure to bump back up again." But it's just, you know, they had the plushy, the, the, the plush the Mattel, they had the uh, the figures, and and they're not moving. What is selling is is He Man because they've restocked uh, that a couple times. We haven't got the figures yet, but they had the Sky Sled. There's one left, and they put battle another case of Battle Cats out. They're almost gone already. Yeah, right? so that's stuff selling. Um, and 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 the Star Wars figures are moving if they were the classic ones. The vintage figures are selling. Yeah, they are selling. Um, but it's so weird to see that He Man has a bigger uh display than oh, Star way Wars. Way bigger. They have like three times as much space for He Man stuff in 2020 than they do for Star Wars. Remember when Star Wars for the longest time was like half of the boys aisle? Yeah, it was Star like Wars. a huge amount. Sometimes it was even long, bigger than that. I've seen it before. Even after the movies, even during the Clone Wars, I remember it being basically the Star Wars aisle. Yep. And now it's just like a little strip of overpriced action figures, retro you know, figures. While we're talking about toy aisles, you know what I miss? I miss Hills. Hills is where the toys are. I miss Hills. I loved Hills. Yeah, Hills is, if if you lived in Pennsylvania or, or Ohio, Hills was a uh, department store, kind of a precursor to Target, I guess. But they had a little little elf guy, and he used to sing about the toys at Christmas. And they, they had, the, had the, best the best toy. They had the yeah. best toy department. Um, they really did. We always got excited when we knew we were on Hills. We're like, yes! So anyway, because we knew our dad would buy us something. Because my mom would say no, and then we'd go ask our dad, and then our dad would always get us something small. So we knew we were getting something if we were going to Hills. <laughs> Hills is so weird. Like, you think about Hills and, you know, look at Walmart. And toy aisles aren't what they used to be. Because I remember, you know, when we were kids, like, there were entire aisles from floor to ceiling packed full of Star Wars stuff, uh, packed full of G.I. Joe stuff, Transformers. Mm -hmm. Like, there was just tons and tons and tons of this stuff. There weren't as many toy lines, but what they had, they had a lot more of it. 
and now it's just uh, it's just like a couple things here and there yeah. you know it's, but the he-man is definitely they have like four rows of pegs for that oh yeah it's like one row of pegs for star wars yeah well that's where that's where star wars is and i'm sorry this this special is is not gonna help <laughs> it's not gonna help no it's not gonna help move star wars stuff at all they've I bet they'll have nothing. a special but they'll, they'll have a, a lego set That'll be the Christmas special, like I said, because they, like, they have a Christmas sweater on Poe. Yeah. Um. So they'll have, you know, a Christmas set with a Christmas tree or something stupid like that. And it'll be it'll be like an advent calendar or something. Yeah, you watch. They'll do you something know, like that. Um. Open it up and you get a little Lego shit that you can, because that's what Disney oh, Star that's Wars not what is. They're calling Luke now. Little Le- Lego shit. <laughs> yes. I thought that was Anakin because he's his figure's <laughs> oh, little. That's right. There you go. Oh my God! They'll take. They'll do time travel. They'll have Anakin do Home Alone. Well, they're having Kylo Ren in it and Palpatine and Vader. Oh, God. No. 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 Just stop. I guess there's going to be a funny scene with the three of them together. I didn't put that quote in the story. Uh, If you go out to to USA Today, the original story's out there. You can go check that one out. And there's other quotes in that article. Yeah. Whatever. I I mean, it's, it's Star Wars is dead. It's dead. Just well, the, you, you should think, okay, they're going to bring Luke back that everybody likes and they're going to try to no. fix it. And then they add the part about Ray. I was like, are you kidding me? They're not going to let it go. You know, it's it's CG, so it probably was already in the works like a year or two ago, probably before they knew the Rise of Skywalker was going to be a bomb. But uh, I can't believe they're going to bring Ray back to the past to talk to Luke. And she's the she's the more the, the seasoned Jedi. God. I'm like, you really going to do that? You really? Yeah, I can't. How can you like, not believe it? I just I'm just I mean, no, I mean, at this point in time where we're at right now, I mean, last year. Yeah, I could believe they tell you to do it. But at this point in time, when there's so much damage that they're trying to control and rein it back in and the franchise is fractured and it's a big problem and it's hemorrhaging money. I don't think that this was a good idea right now. No, uh, but they're going to go forward with it. I mean, look, I mean, you know, Luke Skywalker did nothing. It was all Jin Erso, according to Disney Star Wars. Mm-hmm. So, of course, they're going to do this. No, she didn't even do it. Her dad did. Yeah, right. Well, we can't mention that because that's... She got the plans. No, she did her part. She got the plans up. But so did uh, Cassian and all the other people that helped. <laughs> all the rebels that, that went against orders to help her. And they all died. But uh, only Jin Erso did something. I was going to say that you're like, she did her part. She died. No, I wouldn't say that. I like Jenner. So, but I'm just saying, you know, according to Disney Star Wars and their books, uh, she's the one that was behind everything, even though her dad's the one who hid the, hid the, yeah. the. I mean, they all had a part to play. And what about all the people that got her there and they all died helping her? They're not mentioned. Um, but you don't see a Jen Urso prequel series. I'm oh, just God. saying. There's the Cassie Andor one, though. That That is true. Because K2. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, all K2, K2 all the time. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yep. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting ads for India. I don't either. Some of these ads, I don't understand what's going on. Okay, we're going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.